I'm Mike Jones of 8th Circuit Studios. We're in the process of creating some of the very first video games that utilize the blockchain. And today what I'd like to do is walk you through the blockchain integrations that we've made into our game DeepArk. We noticed that there were some clear barriers of entry into the cryptocurrency world, and at the most basic level. For instance, just obtaining a wallet and tokens, two of the most basic elements, required substantial education on the part of the user, massive outlay of trust in this new process that they're unfamiliar with, and there was also a really large financial risk into buying tokens. So with the system that we've created in DeepArk, we focused on eliminating these barriers. We wanted to make the process easy, understandable, and risk-free to our players. I'm going to demonstrate this, as well as showing the transactions as they take place on the blockchain. With that, on to our demo. This is the intro screen to our game DeepArk. And from here, we're going to select a new user and a new game. And it will take you to the typical authorization screen that you see in many online games. And for our demo, we've only included Google and email authorization, but we're able to implement Facebook, Twitter, and any other number of options at a flip of a switch. So in this step, we'll create a way for us to identify the user and allow us to help them manage their wallet if they ever need it. So right now you're seeing it load the user and we're going to go create the wallet. And here we're letting the user know the next step that we will create a wallet for them at the click of a button. And once we click that button, the game sends the transaction to the blockchain. And at this screen, we're waiting for at least one confirmation to come back that indicates the transaction has been mined. And this means it's been completed. We're using Ethereum at this time, so the average wait time is no more than 15 seconds. And there we are. So here we see that the wallet has been created and the address has been returned to us. If you take a note of the address, the first four digits are 0xdaed. That will come in handy in a little bit right there. And then you'll also notice that we gave them 10 8-bit tokens after we created the wallet form because, you know, who wants an empty wallet? <laughs> it's amazing that we've created a wallet and given tokens to this user. And as we identified earlier, these are the two major hurdles of getting somebody onto the blockchain and into cryptocurrencies. And we did it simply and easily, and we did it in a manner that millions of people are doing every day when they start a video game. So let's take a look at how this all works on the blockchain. This is Etherscan. It's the website where you can search for any transaction that's happened on the Ethereum blockchain. We're currently running on the test network Ropeston, and this is where you can trace the creation of the wallet we just made in our game DeepArk. So you'll notice that the most recent transaction took place 42 seconds ago, and that was a creation of our wallet and our token transfer. And by clicking on that, it shows us that the wallet was created as well as a transfer of 8-bit tokens. And if you look down here, you'll notice that this address was the same as the address we talked about before. And if we drill down on it, you can see that it has 10 8-bit tokens in it. And if we click on that address again, you'll see that here's a blocky that represents that address. And when we go back into DeepArk, it looks the same as the blocky that's listed in DeepArk. There it is again. And that's just another way for us to verify and confirm that it's the same wallet. I hope you've enjoyed this quick demonstration on how a player can be introduced to the world of the blockchain by simply starting a video game. All this is done with no barriers of entry. And these are the actions that are taken millions of times a day as people try new games. Only now the result is that they have a cryptocurrency wallet and tokens in that wallet. By itself, that's something to get excited about, but we've taken it even further. And I'm looking forward to showing you how we've done that in our next video. Make sure you subscribe to our social media so you don't miss out on anything 8 Circuit Studios is doing. And we'd love for you to be a part of our conversation about how this new world of gaming is going to affect you. If you're a gamer interested in DeepArk, please join our Discord channel. And if you're a developer, please join our Slack channel. And no matter who you are, follow us on social media for updates. We want your involvement. So in closing, I'm Mike Jones with 8 Circuit Studios, and I'm really looking forward to hearing what you think about what we've presented here for you today. Thanks a lot.